if you are here for the first time, I welcome you specially. Today, I want to make this liquid soap. I made this liquid soap some time ago. It's actually from uh, bar soap. I have a video on my channel where I turned bar soap into liquid soap. And I noticed that it lost its ladder. It's not so, it doesn't ladder so well. It's not so foamy like it was before. Like, so I now want it to be more foamy. So I want to show you how to do that effectively. Here, I have my SLS. This is about 100 grams of SLS. I'm going to add water to it to dissolve. I don't want the water to be too much. I'm going to turn this down so you can see. So I'm going to be stirring this so that it can dissolve. Just give me a minute. Sorry, I needed to attend to something. So let me. So it's just for the sake of this video that I'm doing it now. Normally, you would have dissolved your SLS ahead of time so that all the grains would dissolve properly before turning it into this liquid soap that I want to become to be more foamy. Do you understand? So anything you want to do, once you have, if you have a production. It's good to always dissolve your chemicals ahead. Uh, such chemicals are, um, if you have caustic soda in your production, dissolve it ahead of time. If you have SLS like this one, that doesn't dissolve it ahead. Caustic soda has to cool down because once you add water to caustic soda, you add caustic soda to water. No, don't add water to caustic soda. Although we are not talking about caustic soda, I'm just telling you because once you know how to do this, if you have mastered it, you know the right way to treat your chemicals, it will help you a lot. So that's what I'm talking about because actually, you know, this bar soap that I prepared before turning it to liquid soap has caustic soda in it. So the way to do that is to dissolve your caustic soda ahead of that. Do you understand? It will have time to cool down properly before production starts. So, the other chemicals that you need to dissolve ahead of time is um, your SLS. This SLS I'm using now. And there's um, STPP, if you are using it in your production. Uh, sodium uh, hydroxide. That's a, uh, if any way, the chlorine doesn't really, you don't really need to dissolve it ahead. Like when I did this production, uh, the other, uh, this thing that I did on my video, on my channel, sorry, bleach. I didn't dissolve it ahead of time. It's just like if you want, that one is not. But I was actually going to mention um, soda ash. Yes, soda ash. If you dissolve soda ash ahead of time, it is better. So if you can see this now, you'll see that it's taking time to dissolve. It's taking time to do so and i don't want to add too much water to it i don't want to add too much water to it so i'm just going to keep staring let me lower the camera so that you can see it properly i'll keep staring it i'm working outside uh, where i stay is close to the road so vehicles are passing the noise of the road sorry about that i hear the noise that is what is happening i stay close to the road so i'll continue staring this This, if 
you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed, I would implore you to please subscribe to my channel. And uh, when I share a video, I would implore you to please always like my videos and share to your loved ones. Please turn on notification as well so that you get to know whenever I upload a new video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you a lot. You know, I can't do this alone. If I don't have an audience, I, it's like I'm just doing video for myself. And it's not good. We are here to, to form a community of like-minded people. People who would love what I share. And I would appreciate that very much. If you can subscribe to my channel, turn on bell notification to get updated whenever, whenever I upload a new video. And then always comment and share my videos, please. I love you guys. If you have any requests, if there's anything you want me to make a video about, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try as much as possible to do that. So if, in case you are just coming to this live stream, this is SLS that I am dissolving in water. Stirring it to dissolve, and at this stage, I think even though all the grains have not dissolved, it is safe to add to this soap that I want to kind of <laughs> reconstitute. <laughs> I want it to become more foamy. See how glossy the soap is. I need it to be more foamy. So I'll turn this in and continue stirring. So by the time I stir it very well and cover it to settle. Any undissolved SNS will dissolve. Let me just rinse this out. I have some undissolved SNS inside this, so I'll just. just SNS is a surfactant. It is a very foamy surfactant. It makes your soap lather. So you can imagine what will happen to this soap once this is well blended. There's another thing I want to add to this soup. I want to increase the color. Like the way this is looking, I don't really, I think it's a bit dull. So I want to add a bit more color to it. So I'll add it so that I'll stir everything together. I'm using color orange, because this is my orange, light orange. I want it to be more vibrant. Orange color, other color. color now I'll just add it inside and look at that yeah, so vibrant add it in mix 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 Keep staring. Don't forget that the SLS has not completely dissolved. So, as I added um, this color now, and I keep staring, the SLS will dissolve. Any undissolved SLS is not even going to be much. Once I'm done staring and I cover it up, it will dissolve. And then there's something else I want to mention. If you see, it's uh, this soap is all that. 
it's not that thick it's not that thick so i want to add a bit of salt to it just a tiny bit not so tiny but not too much because salt thickens soap it makes your soap thick so i'm going to add a bit of salt normal cooking salt that's what i have in and then i'm going to add a little fragrance this is a normal cooking salt we use in our kitchen we use it to thicken your soap salt i mean to your liquid soap and it makes all the other ingredients more effective yes that's what salt does so i'm going to add a bit of salt and i'll stay I think this color is, is okay. And there's another thing I want to add. Fragrance, like I said. I add a little more fragrance to this. So the the way to do this is to strip a bit of so, so, like this, add the fragrance, I have um, this, uh, what's it called, I have to open this up, lemon and banana flavor, I mean, I say flavor, fragrance, is it flavor? <laughs> lemon and banana that's the fragrance i have here so scoop a bit of your soap stir it before you now add it to the whole production if you add the fragrance directly it will make your soap watery and we are trying to thicken the soap up so i don't want that to happen Next time I'll use a bigger container. This container is, is too small for this production. So what I need to do is just to keep stirring this. I'll stir it very well, then I'll cover it up to rest. This is all I came here to show you how to make any liquid soap you have on hand.